I had heard an angel's voice. I had been part of the beautiful mystery of it all from the beginning. So, of course, I knew who he was. But the world that watched the unfolding of his life would have to decide, apart from any angelic revelation, what to make of Jesus. Each person who heard his words or saw his miracles, from the highest official to the smallest child, would have to choose whether to believe in him or not, whether to follow or turn away. For 33 years, he had lived quietly among us, working as a carpenter and worshiping in the temple. And through all those years, I held on to the angel's promise that my son would be called the Most High. But it was not until my nephew John began preaching in the desert about a coming Messiah that I could feel the angel's promise beginning to be fulfilled. This is my song. 